Hello, welcome to our new series, 999 Vizodra PMCQs. As you all know, the explanation will be given in the description box and detailed explanation will be given inside our telegram channel. Let's start with question number 1. A patient with history of stroke presents with hemiparesis on the right side of the body. Which of the following technique would be the most appropriate to facilitate the movement in the affected upper extremity? Option A. Proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, that's PNF. Option B. Constraint induced movement therapy, CIMT. Option C. Bopath concept. Option D. Prostome movement therapy. And answer is. Option A. Proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Now let's move to question number 2. A patient with a recent total knee replacement surgery reports experience significant pain during the knee flexion exercise. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Cryotherapy. Option B. Electrical stimulation. Option C. Ultrasound. Option D. Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. That's tense. And answer is... Option A Cryotherapy. Now let's move to question number 3. A patient with Parkinson's disease is experiencing difficulty with balance and postural control. Which of the following interventions would be the most appropriate to address this impairment? Option A Gait training. Option B Resistance training. Option C Balance and coordination exercise. Option D Aerobic exercise. And the answer is. Option C, Balance and Coordination Exercise. Now let's move to question number 4. A patient with chronic low back pain reports difficulty in performing activities on daily living due to the limited lumbar flexibility. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A, McKenzie method. Option B, Syriax approach. Option C, Muscle Energy Technique that is MET. Option D, Joint Mobilization and the answer is Option A, McKenzie's Method Now let's move to question number 5 A patient with a recent angle sprain presents with decreased angle dorsiflexion range of motion Which of the following interventions would be the most appropriate to address this environment? Option A, Soft Tissue Mobilization Option B. Joint mobilization. Option C. Stretching exercise. Option D. Electrical stimulation. And the answer is. Option B. Joint mobilization. Now let's move to question number 6. A patient with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, that's COPD, reports increased shortness of breath during the daily activity. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Inceptive spirometry. Option B. Pursed lip breathing. Option C. Diaphragmatic breathing. Option D. Aerobic exercise training. And the answer is. Option B. Pursed lip breathing. Now let's move to question number 7. A patient with history of anterior cruciate ligament, that's ACL reconstruction, is experiencing difficulty with functional activity that involved pivoting and cutting movements. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Open kinetic chain exercises. Option B. Closed kinetic chain exercises. Option C. Proprioceptive training. Option D. Cryotherapy. And the answer is... Option C. Proprioceptive training. Now let's move to question number 8. A patient with recent total hip replacement supports experiencing significant muscle tightness and limited range of motion in the operated leg. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Ultrasound. Option B. Electrical stimulation. Option C. Soft tissue mobilization. Option D. Joint mobilization. And answer is... Option C. Soft tissue mobilization. Now let's move to question number 9. A patient with multiple sclerosis report experiencing a fatigue and difficulty with ambulation. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Aerobic exercise training. Option B. Resistance training. Option C. Energy conservation technique. Option D. Aquatic therapy. And the answer is... Option C. Exercise conservation technique. Now let's move to question number 10. 
A patient with recent total knee replacement surgery reports experiencing swelling and discomfort in the operated knee. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A, ultrasound. Option B, electrical stimulation. Option C, cryotherapy. Option D, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. And the answer is Option C, cryotherapy. Now let's move to question number 11. A patient with recent stroke presence with impairment in balance and gait, which of the following would be the most appropriate to address this problem? Option A, proctoceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Option B, constraint induced movement therapy. Option C, Bobath concept. Option D, task oriented training. And the answer is Option D, task oriented training. Now let's move to question number 12. A patient with osteoarthritis of the knee reports experiencing pain and stiffness during weight bearing activities. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A, ultrasound. Option B, electrical stimulation. Option C, aquatic therapy. Option D, cryotherapy. And the answer is Option D, cryotherapy. Now let's move to question number 13. A patient with recent rotator cuff repair surgery reports experiencing limited shoulder range of motion and weakness in the operated shoulder. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A, electrical stimulation. Option B, ultrasound. Option C, progressive resistive exercise, that's PRE. Option D, cryotherapy. And the answer is... Option C, progressive resistive exercise, that's PRE. Now let's move to question number 14. A patient with Parkinson's disease report experiencing difficulty with fine motor skill and coordination. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Aerobic exercise training. Option B. Resistance training. Option C. Task specific training. Option D. Balance and coordination exercises. And the answer is... Option C. Task specific training. Now let's move to question number 15. A patient with chronic low back pain reports difficulty in performing prolonged sitting or standing activities due to discomfort. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. McKinsey method. Option B. Muscle energy technique. Option C. Postural correction exercises. Option D. Lumbar stabilization exercises. And the answer is... Option D. Lumbar stabilization exercises. Now let's move to question number 60. A patient with recent anterior cruciate ligament ACL reconstruction report experiencing cordyceps muscle weakness and difficulty with functional activity. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Open kinetic chain exercises. Option B. Closed kinetic chain exercises. Option C. Electrical stimulation. Option D. Cryotherapy. And the answer is... Option B. Closed kinetic chain exercises. Now let's move to question number 17. A patient with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD reports experiencing a shortening of breath and fatigue during activities of daily living, that's ADL. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A, inceptive spirometry. Option B, pearl slip breathing. Option C, diaphragmatic breathing. Option D, interval training. And the answer is... Option D, interval training. Now let's move to question number 80. A patient with recent total hip replacement reports experiencing significant muscle tightness and limited range of motion in the operated hip. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A. Ultrasound. Option B. Electrical stimulation. Option C. Joint mobilization. Option D. Soft tissue mobilization. And the answer is... Option D. Soft tissue mobilization. Now let's move to question number 19. A patient with multiple sclerosis, that's MS, reports experiencing a fatigue and difficulty with ambulation. Which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate to address this issue? Option A, aerobic exercise training. Option B, resistance training. Option C, energy conservation technique. Option D, aquatic therapy. And the answer is... Option C, energy conservation technique. Now let's move to question number 20. A patient with recent total knee replacement surgery reports experiencing swelling and discomfort in the operated knee. 
which of the following intervention would be the most appropriate issue option a ultrasound option b electrical stimulation option c cryotherapy option d transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation and the answer is option c cryotherapy that's all for today if you have any doubts please mention in the comment box below see you in the part 2 soon all the best for your exams see you then bye bye thank you